Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a in-depth review of Arc Studio Pro, and I'm gonna give it my screenwriting mentor review, which is my way of seeing, seeing how good the software actually is. Now, in the final score, we're gonna look at it from five different perspectives. We're gonna look at the price, the features, ease of use, resources, and communication. So five in total. So stick around to the end of the video and just see how I think Arc Studio Pro uh, stands up to other types of software. Now our first category today is price. Now as always, I want to point out that there is a free version of the software available. Uh, so if anything I say today sounds good or if you looked at the other two videos and you saw something, hey, I might like to use this, please go check it out. Try the free version. That's the way for you to kick the tire so you can to see if, hey, you can like, hey, I really like how this works or I don't like how this works. And that way you can really um, get a feel for the software before you you buy and I think that's one of the nice things about a lot of these softwares you can try a free version and if you like it great and if not no worries you just tried it you can find something else that works better for you now besides the free version of the software there's two other tiers there's a $69 tier and the $99 tier um, and so what I'm gonna do is when we hit to the feature section there's some differences in features between the two so we'll talk a little bit more about them uh, in the next section of the video uh, before we leave this category, I do want to uh, point out that two years of Arc Studio Pro cost about the same as buying Final Draft, a version of Final Draft. So Arc Studio Pro is going to have to show me that it can uh, run with the big boys with Final Draft, which is the OG in the space. Um, it's one of the gold standards in the industry. So will it live up to that price point? Well, let's take a look into our next category, features, and that's going to allow us to see a little bit more of what this can do. Now, Arc Studio Pro is a web-based app, uh, but if you pay for it, you can get a, have it on desktop. Now, it is available for PC, iPhone, and iPad, and at this time, it's not available for Android phones. So just keep in mind of that. If you, if you have an Android phone, you're not going to be able to use it. Now, I'm going to touch on some of the features that you can get for each of the different pricing points, so let's review them uh, a little bit more here right now. So as we come here onto their pricing page, uh, one of the nice things, if you watch this video fairly early, we're still in September where this is uh, this this discount is still in effect. So if you're going back to school and you have an EDU address, you can sign up for a free version for a free school license. So feel free to take advantage of that. That's one of the nice things about Arc Studio Pro. Now, as we look at the three different columns, we see free, we see the essentials, and pro. The pro is to take your screenwriting to the next level with professional features. The essentials is advanced formatting apps and unlimited scripts. And plus with the free version, let's take a look and see what they give you so that you can, you know, test the tires, check the tires. So the first one is beautiful interface. I do not disagree with that. I really like the interface for Arc Studio Pro. It's really nice to use, really easy to use. We'll get to that in the next section of uh, the review. Stable and secure cloud sync. Now, to be honest, I didn't really use this as, as much as all because I was using the desktop version. So I can't uh, talk about that claim, but it's good that it has that. It has automatic backups. Let's take a look at each of these little asterisks. It backs up locally to your computer and to the cloud. Um, and also works offline as well too. So I'm just gonna, when we get through this thing, uh, I'll highlight each of the question marks. Um, so upgrades included. So this is pretty nice feature from the perspective that some softwares that there, there are out there, uh, Final Draft being the big one, the one that I said it's a cost about the same. The caveat to that is that Final Draft does charge you, uh, I think it was $79 the last time I was looking uh, at the price for Final Draft for their upgrade for just um, so it's, it's more than just, you have the base program already, you just need to upgrade it. And for Final Draft, it comes out about every two to three years, so you're paying an extra uh, 90, so, sometimes it's $97, but I think they've been, been hovering around 79 right now. We'll see when the new upgrade for Final Draft comes out. You have comments, all three versions can do comments. Again, we're at all three versions so far. So uh, it has Fountain and Final Draft export. If you're ever worried, wondering what Fountain is, I'll leave a link up in, or I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can watch my video about Fountain, how to use your uh, cell phone to create fountains. Uh, PDF export. So if you do send this out as a PDF for people to read, just know you'll have a watermark if it's the free version and you won't with the paid versions. And the other uh, limitation with the free version, as we get down to the end here, is you can only have two scripts versus 
the 69 and 99 dollar versions which you have unlimited scripts the last thing that the free version allows you to do is have uh, use it as a browser you can only use it as a browser app whereas we look at the 69 and 99 dollars a year we see that we can have a desktop app which is what i prefer i don't like writing in a browser again it's just the boomer in me uh doing that but some people really just prefer the browser app so there's a nice um nice thing about that uh it also is iphone and ipad app um, so you can invite in collaborators but this is this is sort of you only get basically two real big uh to do's with the 69 dollar price which is a desktop app and the iphone and ipad app uh, to pay $99 uh, unlocks basically the rest of the programs for if you invite collaborators. Uh, so your collaborators don't need a subscription to do basic editing and commenting in your script. You can have custom formats, which define your own element formatting rules and layouts. Um, you can save them as templates to use them. Outlining tools, plan and improve the beat outline of your screenplay in an intuitive drag and drop interface. Tag beat cards with storylines, characters, and locations for intuitive color coding. So if you're gonna do a lot of pre-work, um, you're gonna probably want to, with ArcStudio Pro, invest in the $99 one. And to be honest, uh, when I was using it, those features were just, just fine for me. Um, so the season outlines, outline your season beats and storylines and collect notes and images on recurring characters and location. Then you can have history, browse other versions of your script and compare them with each other, highlight changes with a click. Uh, you can save colored pages of your scripts and you have feedback links and the stash uh, You can see the stash in my walkthrough video for arc studio pro and I'll include that as well in the description below So if you'd like to le learn a little bit more about how the stash works, I actually run through that in that particular video it, You know and to be honest for me The stash didn't mean a lot, but I know for some writers that could be a big deal so these are all the different uh, you can see the price point as well as the features that ArcStudio Pro has. So let's get started in our next category, which is ease of use. Now, I don't know if you saw my first impressions video. Again, that's already, I already linked it. But after taking about an hour to get into the user interface, I had one word for ArcStudio Pro. Wow. I mean, this was an eerily easy program to use. I mean, one of the things I really enjoyed was that there was not a lot of clutter on the screen. It was very minimalistic. Uh, when there was stuff on the screen, it just was easy to use. And here's another big kicker. It worked. <laughs> I've had a lot of screenwriting programs that I've been using that, well, you can click on stuff, but it doesn't work or it doesn't work as intended. And there, there also wasn't a lot of guessing as to what the function of things were. There's a lot of user interfaces that I've been using that it's hard to guess, you know, okay, you know, after a while you can figure out what things are. But ArcStudio Pro, there wasn't a lot of elements on the screen. And what those elements were, were very easy to discern what they were. I think this was probably one of the easiest screenwriting softwares I've used in recent memory uh, outside of the graphical ones like uh, Studio Binder. And this leads us to our next category, uh, which is resources. So ArcStudio Pro does have a YouTube channel, which is a little bigger than mine. They have about 1.69K uh, subscribers, uh, and they have a good mix of videos on the software and other screenwriting topics. They also have a great spot on on their website with current screenwriting articles. And let me point you to that. So on their website, you can go to their blog and they have lots of different articles as you can see here. As we look through here, they have a lot of, and they're fairly new too. There's not, they're not like three years old. This one's back in June and see their last article was written uh, September 16th. So, so yeah, so they're having a lot of articles uh, in there as well too. Now the last category is communication. It's always important to be able to get a hold of the publisher uh, in case you have some questions about why something isn't working or if you have questions about how to find shortcuts or that type of things, it's important to have that communication with the publisher. Now with ArcStudio Pro, if you go to their main webpage, there's a little button down at the bottom. You simply press the button and then you can type in your email address and type of message. And you know, I always wrote, I always write the same question. You know, people are gonna probably, I, I don't think that I'm that big of a YouTuber yet, um, but people are gonna probably start catching on whenever they get a question about dual dialogue because hardly anybody ever asks that. They know it's gonna be me. So, um, so I will talk to you about how I submitted that question to them and what kind of response I got. So here we go. 
as we finish up our review for Arc Studio Pro, and our rate on a five reel system, five reels being the best and one being, ugh, that's really bad. Um, now for price, I give Arc Studio Pro four reels. Now I'm not a big fan of subscription models, but recently I've had a short discussion with a couple of different developers who reminded me of why they've moved to a subscription based model. So I'm probably not as fussy as I've been about other subscription models. And as I look at other subscription models compared to Arc Studio Pro, this one's really affordable. It's a, if you buy the $99 one, it's $8. It comes out to $8.25 a month. Um, now you can save a little bit on that price if you click on the link in the description below. And if, uh, because if you buy through my link, you get a discount. Uh, and again, just for full disclosure, because I always do this whenever I have a software offer for people, um, I do get, the channel does get a little bit of financial compensation for people who are using my link. Um, and to be honest, compared to a lot of other subscription models, it's a pretty good deal, uh, especially when you see the value for this, which leads us to features. And I would give Arc Studio uh, Pro four reels. Um, now this one was a little hard for me. I almost gave it five reels. Uh, it has a lot of good and powerful features. What kept me from five stars was the fact that you can't use it on Android phones. Um, now, full disclosure, I have an Android phone <laughs> and I like to write on it, but I can't with Arc Studio Pro. Now, granted, I could use my Chrome browser as a workaround, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> also, I'd like to have some more pre-work um, tools like a relationship section where I can delve into the relationships of my character and see uh, these visually like what I can do in Scrite. Um, now, this is just me being a little nitpicky, but I feel uh, they are really close to having a product which is actually better than Final Draft. So ease of use, five reels. This is pretty easy to use. I mean, it was very minimalistic. Stuff was on the screen. It was easy to understand how it worked. Arc Studio Pro is not bloated by any stretch of the imagination, which I think is great. It feels like you have just enough for what you need to do on the screen. I can't say enough good things. Again, five reels. Good job, guys. Resources, five reels. They have a good YouTube channel with videos that talk about different things and more than just their products, which I really enjoy. They also have a good resource on their website with articles and timely articles too. They're not like four or five months old or three, four or five years old. Uh, really probably the second best in terms of content from any software I've, re I've reviewed so far. Studio, if you're wondering, Studio Binder is the best in this category, but Arc Studio Pro um, comes in hands down second place right now versus everything I've done for review wise. So I'm really happy with the with how they are going about supporting screenwriters with different resources. So good job again, guys. You know, really good job. Really appreciate that. Communication, two reels. Yes, you saw that right, two reels. You know, I never got a response at all from them, from three different email addresses. And to be honest, when I asked for a review copy, it took them almost three months to get back to me. So I have to say, I'm really disappointed with Arc Studio Pro in terms of communication. You know, I really like everything else, but if it comes at the cost of being able to talk to your customers, I don't know if that's a good sign or not. And so the sad part about this for me is, this wasn't the case before. When I used to talk to people at Arc Studio Pro, I used to get a response very quickly. So I don't know if it's, they're just going through some changes right now. Um, and if the people at Arc Studio Pro uh, watch this particular video and they want to comment and let me know, I'd be happy to do a follow up later on. Um, you know, maybe I did something wrong when I used that little bubble to type in my question. Uh, I checked my spam. I did everything I could, but I didn't get a response from them. So. So just be a little wary of that. And like I said, hopefully after this video, they'll have responded and hopefully fixed the problem so that they can, like I said, they're a good company. I just wish they would have somebody uh, answer their people's questions. So out of 25 reels, Arc Studio Pro gets 20, you know? So Arc Studio Pro overall is bringing the fire. Uh, it's a solid program with not a lot of fluff. It's easy to use, has a great resource section. And when you do get to talk to staff, they always are very easy to talk to. Again, when they get back to you. So I was really quite surprised at how much I use, I enjoyed using the software. Now, normally I can see things that just rub me the wrong way or are not polished yet or not very helpful. But Arc Studio Pro though was different. 
it really felt like it was designed by people who know what a writer wants and knows what has uh, been some of the downfalls of other screenwriting software products like Final Draft. So again, they have a free version. Give it a try and see what you, what you think. If you do want to do the paid version, if you want to get a little extra off of it, please, again, click on my link below. You get, I think it's 30% off right now, but you do get some type of percentage off of it. Plus, it helps support the channel, which I appreciate. Now, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot more product reviews, and I also cover other types of screenwriting products, as well as uh, different general type of stuff about screenwriting. If you have any particular software questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or in the comment section of any of the videos that you see uh, about a certain product. I'm also in the process of, of uploading a bunch of other different product videos as well, too. So you, if you haven't seen the, the software program that you want me to use, it's probably coming along lines. Always, again, if you're, I've had a couple of people ask for some different um, programs as well, too, and I'll be adding them to my list uh, here in September and October. So the video I'm going to leave you with is my top 10 screenwriting softwares for 2023. So if you're new to looking at different screenwriting softwares, take a look at this one as it will help you sort of get an idea of different ones in the space. Uh, so until the next video, live well and write well.